Today we're looking at the DGT Easy. DGT is one of the world leaders in electronic chess and game clocks, and the DGT Easy is their entry level uh, game timer. As the name denotes, this is a very easy to use clock. It's great for schools and clubs or for individual chess enthusiasts who don't need the more complicated uh, Fisher or Bronstein or tournament modes. And so if you want a clock that's great for just countdown chess, this is a great clock for you. Runs on two AA batteries. I've already put those in on the bottom of the clock. This clock comes in four colors. What you see here is the green and red combination and there's three other color combinations as well and you can see those on the website. To turn this on, we're just going to press the on button. What will come up is the last game that you played. And so the default here is a five minute game and we've got five minutes on both sides. Uh, I can turn on or off the sound and you'll notice that turns off and on in that little box there. Uh, as you come to the last five seconds or so of a game, uh, if you had the sound turned on, you'll start to hear beeps. With it turned off now, we won't hear those beeps. Now, if I'm ready to go, I've got this being the white side because it's uh, up in the air and I can press start and the clock immediately starts to count down. Just press the lever back and forth as the time will switch there. Now, if I want to uh, pause this game, I'll press the pause button. That'll stop the game where it's at. Now, if I want to restart again, just press the button again and we'll continue through this game. This will count down to uh, zero. Then the flag will fall, figuratively, a little flag will be displayed on whichever side ran out of time first. Now the clock won't actually stop, it'll actually start counting up at that point. So you can still see whose flag fell first based on which side has the flag in their display. Uh, we could do that, go through all five minutes. I could pause that. If I want to reset the game, I'm going to press this briefly. It will reset back to the five minutes on each side. Now if I want to change the time that we're given to each side and we want to do it on both sides, you'll notice both sides are blinking now. I can just press and hold the up button or the down button and it will just start to scroll through. So if I want to make this a 10 minute game instead of five, I'll hold that down. The longer you hold it, the faster it goes. And so pretty soon we'll start moving through minutes pretty quick. And of course I'll overshoot it a little bit. If that's the case, then just go back down. There we are, we're at a 10 minute game. We're happy with that, we're ready to make the move. We'll start, just press the play button and it goes. Now if we turn this off, when we turn it back on again, it goes back to the last sitting we had, which was that 10 minute game. Now I may uh, want to play with a weaker player, let's say for example, or a stronger player, so I can change the time on only one side or the other. If I push the left arrow button, now you'll see this is the only side flashing. I can change the time just for this particular player. Let's say I'm going to drop him down to uh, eight minutes. allows you kind of to handicap a game if you're playing with a stronger player. This player would have 10 minutes, that player would have 8 minutes, we're ready to go, time starts ticking down. So the game timer, where time will completely run down, is one of the modes for this clock. Now if we want to play other modes, we can push this over and you'll notice now the mode section is flashing. I can go down to move timer, which is highlighted there now, and uh, now I can press play on that. Now this will start to count down and it looks just like the game timer mode but each time you press the button the clock resets and so this is a fixed amount of time per move and uh, in this case you wouldn't have it set this high likely but you may want to play a quick game and you may want to set it for one minute per move and you can play for as long as you want but as long as you complete each move within the designated time. So that's the move timer. The third option for this one if you go back to the game timer here, and if I were to set both sides here to zero, then it will count up, and that's the third option, often used for games other than chess where you want to actually have the time count up instead of count down. Those are the three modes. This clock does not have a, a delay feature. If you want the delay feature, you need to get the easy plus, and that's what the plus indicates is that it has the delay feature built in as well. Um, great for schools, great for clubs. It's a great deal at, uh, at less than $30 for a clock, and it's real easy to use as the name suggests. We'll think you'd be very happy with this.